Curiosity is presented by Nissan. Innovation for all. Paul Steinhardt is the Albert Einstein Professor in Science at Princeton University, a title that only two scientists have ever earned. What does inflation actually predict? Well, if you, any possibility can occur an infinite number of times, there is no prediction that such a theory can make. Anything that can happen is consistent with such a theory. Paul is scrapping decades of work on inflation for a new theory, one that claims there is a hidden fourth dimension of space. And across that dimension lies a parallel universe. Our three-dimensional world can be viewed as a membrane-like surface embedded in a space with an extra fourth spatial dimension. So think about these two newspapers here and how close they are together. The two brain worlds, ours and the one opposite, are separated by a much tinier distance, about a trillionth of a trillionth of an inch. In Paul's model, everything in our universe lives on a flexible three-dimensional membrane or brain world. The other brain world, even though it's incredibly close to us, is a separate universe that does not interact with us. But then Paul began to wonder what would happen if it did. What my colleagues and I began to think about was the idea that these brain worlds might not just sit there for all time, that they might begin to move towards one another and actually collide. In that collision, energy would be converted from the energy of motion of the brains into matter and radiation, so that when they came apart again, they would be filled with hot matter and radiation, just like one would get after a Big Bang. In fact, we realized this could be the Big Bang. The Big Bang, instead of being the beginning of space and time, could actually be a collision. Paul believes that this alien universe is still less than an atom's length away. It's a strange domain where the laws of physics are completely different. And Paul thinks we're already picking up evidence of it. Curiosity, parallel universes are the real. Next Sunday at 8, only on Discovery.